I grew up in a small city in southern Argentina. I came here as an immigrant. After so many years of living abroad, you're not from here. And even when you go back to your own country, you don't feel you belong there either. As an adult, I wanted to know more about where I come from. I took up Italian. I knew some English, I took up German, and I had French, and that's when I realized that I'm an interpreter at heart. That's my essence. My mom was diagnosed with breast cancer in her 50s, and then she was diagnosed again when she was here about 15 years ago. Knowing that my mom had breast cancer, I always thought that I was going to get it. So since I was 30, I've been following up and I went for my checkup. They sent me to do some tests and, um, and it turns out that it's cancer. Until you do all the tests, you don't know. You don't know, you know how bad it is and you don't know what's going to happen, what's next. So far, it's been the hardest thing for me ever. To be an interpreter, you're only a conduit. You cannot get involved. It's hard because you're so used to not getting involved that it's part of my personality. I have to make an effort to express my own feelings, my own ideas. The challenge for me was to put myself first and be comfortable with it. As soon as I learned that I had breast cancer, my first instinct was, okay, I'm having a mastectomy, everything. You know, that's what my mom went through and I didn't really doubt it. In Patricia's case, we were able to offer her genetic testing to see if there is any genetic mutation that might predispose her to a second cancer. And fortunately, in her case, the genetic testing was negative. So she chose to move forward with a more minimally invasive surgery, in this case, the lumpectomy. Dr. Vora was my surgeon. I met her at the beginning and I decided that I wanted her to be the surgeon. I thought she was incredible in every sense. I really trusted her from, from the beginning. In terms of surgery, patients undergo the breast surgery for the removal of the cancer, and they undergo a sentinel lymph node biopsy at the same time. So in Patricia's case, all of the cancer was removed with the lumpectomy, and there was no disease in the lymph nodes. I was just uh, elated. I mean, we were so happy, immensely um, uh, thankful. I'm so glad we picked Loma Linda for the treatment, for this journey. It encompassed everything. The professional care, treatment, the compassion. It makes a whole difference. It really does. In order to avoid recurrence, they have these protocols of treatment. Here at Loma Linda, we actually have proton therapy, which is a very specialized form of radiation therapy that is very focused on that area of where the cancer was, decreasing potentially the toxicity to the surrounding area. I always felt blessed knowing that my mom has been with me since the beginning. Well, my mom is a really big fear in my life. It's always been. It's just uh, an example in every sense. I was lucky to be able to survive this, but I wasn't afraid. I wasn't. Because of her attitude with her experience, it helped me and gave me the strength. You never know what's, what's going to happen. Live every moment the best you can in expressing the love all the time to the fullest.